Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Normal here and in this video, we'll share some tips, tricks and features of the new One UI 2.0 on the Samsung Galaxy A51. So Samsung Galaxy A51 comes with Android 10 out of the box and it has this One UI 2.0. So One UI is Samsung's uh, proprietary UI which has a lot of uh, features to offer. So we'll talk about uh, some of the best features you can try out on the Samsung Galaxy A51. So let's get started. So first up, the quick toggles. So if you just swipe down, you can see the quick toggle. So here uh, there are a couple of options. One is there is uh, an option to quickly restart uh, or uh, power off or go to the emergency mode even without pressing the button. So that's one uh, useful option. Then if you select the three dots, you can see their button order. So you can see that you can just rearrange the button order. You can just drag and rearrange all the button order. And then once you're done, uh, click done. Then another option is uh, uh, quick panel layout. So panel layout you can right now see that the uh, brightness uh, option is at the bottom. So if you want brightness at the top, you can change that and uh, that's the option. Then if you go here, you can see the status bar can also be customized. So here you can actually uh, see uh, show number of notifications only, three most recent and all notification. You can also enable battery percentage from here. So that's the uh, settings. So now let's go to the settings uh, on this device. So settings has lots uh, to offer. So first let's go to the display settings. So here we have the adaptive brightness. So make sure you turn this on. Then blue light filter, reduce eye strain by limiting the amount of blue light emitted by the screen. So this is quite useful during the night or uh, when you're reading or uh, if you want, uh, if you are using the device for longer term during the night, this is quite useful. Then there is dark mode. So we already enabled the dark mode. So this is uh, the light mode. Uh, if you have, uh, if you want the light mode, you can enable that as well. Then screen mode is included. So what is screen? Screen mode basically is uh, you can have either vivid colors or natural colors. So if you go with vivid colors, what you can do is you can select the color balance. If you want a cooler tone, go with that. Or if you want a warmer tone, go with that. Then there is also advanced settings. You can actually set the RGB values for your display colors. So that's how uh, it works. So there is a lot of customization available for these AMOLED panels. So Samsung Galaxy A51 comes with an AMOLED panel. Now you can also customize the font the style and shape so you can see the default font style you can download additional fonts if you want uh, there are lots of fonts available so these are the fonts uh, the default fonts uh, you can just go ahead you can change the size and also enable additional fonts so this is the, some of the option then there is uh, uh, home screen customization so home screen layout uh, can be changed uh, you can go with either 4x5, uh, you can see 4x6, 5x5 or 5x6. So these are the options. So based on how many apps uh, you want, you can select that and uh, you can uh, save those options. Then app or screen grid. So this is also same thing. You can have either 4x5, 4x6, 5x5 and 5x6 uh, for the apps. Then uh, next is uh, we have an option called um, hide apps. So if you want to hide particular app, you can just select those apps. So this is not a password protection, but just hide apps. So you can see that these apps are hidden. They can be accessed uh, once you go here and unhide it, but they won't be password protected. They are just uh, hidden. So this is how you can hide these apps. Now coming back uh, to the display settings. So there is an easy mode. So basically what it does is use a simpler home screen layout with bigger on-screen items, a longer touch and hold a delay to prevent accidental actions and a higher contrast for keyboard for better readability. So basically easy mode, uh, we would like to say this is kind of uh, an useful mode for elderly people who want slightly bigger icons and a, 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 what you call an easy kind of interface so for them easy mode is quite handy you can just enable easy mode from here so you can see that uh, the uh, uh, the fonts get bigger and the icons also get bigger for easy reading so that's the easy mode available then there is edge screen so you can see that there is edge uh, panel and edge lighting is included so you can see that uh, we have uh, just turned on the edge lighting here lighting style you can see there are lots of edge lighting option so these are the edge lighting options so a lot of them are available so you can see that which type of edge lighting you want 
so bubbles uh, all those things are available you can select the colors as well advanced uh, low uh, transparency mode the duration you can have for longer duration longer duration means uh, it will also consume a bit more battery than uh, the regular mode so you can set all these things for the edge lighting so uh, for which all apps uh, you want uh, edge lighting so that can also be selected so if you enable for all the apps uh, then again uh, battery usage might be higher so you can select uh, edge lighting for which all apps you want uh, you can uh, select it from here uh, then uh, show edge lighting when while screen is on while screen is off or always so edge lighting is basically when a notification comes up so when screen is on when screen is off or if you want always uh, edge lighting so you can do that so these are the options available uh, uh, then uh, next let's go to uh, edge panels so edge panels are also included you can just swipe from here so these are the edge panels so you can edit uh, edge panel and have shortcuts for a particular app which you want that means if you use an app uh, quite frequently then you can enable this uh, edge panel you can customize that and you can see there are tools uh, apps and a smart select so these are the options available in edge lighting so these are the three options then samsung uh, some additional options are there like people whether you can add uh, internet options reminder clipboard additional panels can also be downloaded from the galaxy store so this is the edge panels and edge lighting so this is quite handy a lot of customizations can be done there now next uh, navigation bar so we have uh, the regular navigation buttons here so uh, back uh, i mean the recent ski the home and the back button so you can uh, jumble them you can have back here and the recent ski here then i can also go with a uh, full gestures so you can see that these are the gestures available uh, then uh, you can see swipe uh, from bottom left right so these are the gestures supported so it's quite uh, similar to what we have seen on other devices as well so navigation bar can be customized then accidental touch protection so this is uh, quite good because uh, if you are using if you the display is turned on uh, in the pocket uh, it will not uh, it will not have any accidental touch so this is, helps in that now wallpapers and themes are self explanatory because uh, uh, we don't have to explain because themes you can download additional themes from the themes too wallpapers can also be customized so next is lock screen so lock screen uh, uh, you can see that there is an always on display so tap to show always show or uh, show as uh, scheduled so always on display uh, we have seen this uh, on a lot of devices it will uh, uh, show you uh, the options uh, uh, and then there is always on display you can show it that uh, always on display always or tap uh, on the display uh, to show it for 10 seconds or show as scheduled then there is also clock style you can customize a lot of clock styles are available so you can customize that so you can even customize the color for the clocks and uh, the text and all those things can be there you can see that there are lots of clocks options uh, you can customize uh, for the lock screen so this is how we can do that then um, so show music information so in case you are playing uh, music you can uh, enable that uh, this is the always on display so again uh, remember always on display takes up additional battery so if you are concerned about uh, the battery consumption make sure you don't turn this on so this will uh, additionally have an impact on the battery next biometrics and security so here we have uh, the fingerprint and face unlock so we'll just uh, uh, quickly show some options here so face recognition so there is an option uh, called uh, uh, faster recognition faster recognition improves the speed but reduces the security uh, increasing the possibility of video or image being incorrectly recognized as your face so uh, right now we are turned on faster recognition which means face unlock will be faster but less secure then uh, require open eyes the brighten the screen that's again self explanatory increases the screen brightness temporarily so that you can face uh, can be recognized uh, in the darker condition so that's another useful option so make sure you turn on these options uh, from uh, the face recognition then you have the secure folder option so secure folder we have seen this on uh, a lot of devices uh, from samsung so what secure folder does is that uh, you can create your account and uh, it will create a folder wherein you can uh, uh, access all your uh, or rather uh, instead of accessing you can uh, store all your uh, files maybe photos videos documents 
uh, and music files everything can be stored securely secure folder can be accessed either via pin password or face unlock so once you enable that secure folder you can just transfer uh, files to the secure folder uh, directly from your gallery or the file manager and anything and everything stored under the secure folder will not be access to, accessible to anyone unless you enter your pin or the passcode so that's how the secure folder works so this has been there for all the smartphones from uh, samsung secure folder is something which samsung uh, makes it available on all their devices now next going to the advanced features so here uh, again a lot of advanced features are included uh, so uh, one is screenshot so there is a screenshot toolbar so the moment you take a screenshot so we'll just uh, show you so now let's uh, just take a screenshot so you can see that as soon as you take the screenshot you can see the screenshot toolbar at the bottom which enables you to uh, edit those screenshots so that's another useful tool then uh, there is uh, motions and gestures so there are lots of motions and gestures available so lift to wake double tap to wake smart stay option smart alert easy mute palm swipe to capture uh, so these are some gestures a double tap to wake we already know lift to wake is just as soon as you lift the device it will wake up the display again this takes up uh, more battery so these are some gestures supported so we are not going in detail with those gestures you can just try out these gestures then there is 100 mode so once you enable 100 mode uh, you can see that uh, you can either go with the gesture for 100 mode uh, you can just uh, swipe down from the center bottom or you can uh, tap the ho ho tap uh, double tap the home button so this is uh, the 100 mode you can also use uh, gestures for uh, uh, the 100 mode so this is how it works you can also customize uh, a bit uh, here so now uh, you can see this is how you can enable the 100 mode so this is useful if you want a reduced size a screen size for your smartphone then you have this uh, game launcher so this is useful uh, if you are playing a lot of games uh, then uh, this game launcher helps in better optimization and uh, better performance then dual messenger dual messenger is again uh, something which uh, uh, is quite handy because you can run multiple instances of uh, some apps so supported apps are like uh, facebook whatsapp uh, snapchat uh, even uh, instagram so those kind of apps you can run uh, in multiple instances so uh, you can just enable them and you can have a multiple instance of or rather two instances of those apps so that's uh, uh, the uh, dual messenger app now if you go to the uh, digital well-being and parental controls so here's some uh, interesting options that uh, you can see how much time you spend on each apps uh, daily and there is also a focus mode so focus mode is uh, avoid distractions from your phone and keep your life in focus that's something which uh, you can do say for example if i select a me time uh, you can just start and uh, you can see that you can uh, to help you focus uh, you can only use these apps so you can add which all apps you want in the me time so you can see that uh, you can select these apps say for example i just want the gmail app done click done then start so now uh, now focus mode uh, is started at um, this much time so now if you go here you can see that none of the apps are available except for play store and gmail and even calls will be available calls will be available by default and you can see that everything else is grayed out here that means they are not accessible unless you go to the focus mode and disable it so focus mode is available here so you can just end focus mode similarly you can go for the uh, the work time you can add uh, work apps and you can also create a new focus mode say uh, if you want a focus mode uh, when you're spending time when you're giving it to kids if you want that kind of uh, focus mode just give the uh, make a new focus mode and what you do what you can do is uh, you can add uh, certain apps which you uh, which you want your kids to be accessed uh, except those apps you can just disable every other app so that's the focus mode available you can also toggle focus mode from uh, the top here so here also there is an option called focus mode so you can just uh, enable uh, focus mode from here now let's uh, go to other option the wind down wind down before uh, bed by changing the screen to grayscale or blocking notification so this is something which is quite handy when you're going for sleep uh, you can change the screen to grayscale or block notification so that uh, any notification won't disturb you while you're sleeping so that you, you can schedule uh, for all the weekdays uh, from here then there is parental control so you can set parental controls uh, this is actually basically with the google's family link you can add restrictions to certain apps using the parental controls 
so these are some options now if you go to the uh, the toggles here we have the option to enable dolby atmos so uh, this device does support dolby you can just enable it while uh, you are uh, listening to songs or uh, uh, music you can enable that mode there is also kids home so kids home uh, basically uh, you can enable this uh, hi welcome uh, to kids home then you can see that uh, uh, some apps can be enabled uh, basically uh, some kids apps can be downloaded and enabled and once uh, uh, you are uh, done with that you can just uh, disable uh, kids mode so that these modes are basically for when you give phone to your kids the, you don't want to uh, kids uh, to access other apps uh, basically so that's how you can uh, enable uh, this mode so these are some options available in the samsung galaxy a51 so the one uh, ui 2.0 features a lot of options to customize and uh, make your phone smarter so just try out these options uh, you can get the better out of your device so those are the tips tricks and features of the one ui 2.0 hope you enjoyed watching this video do hit that like button and also hit the red subscribe button for more videos this is Rudma signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day